Hello everyone and welcome to another MCU crew reacts with an X at the end of it. This is, we all got to do this when I say reacts. That's what the kids are doing. You know what only, I'm saying? O- only when an X-Men movie comes out. I'm sorry. <laughs> when we do reacts. our X-Men reacts, that's, we'll do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Or, or we do uh, videos about X-Pac from <clears throat> the, the WWF. R.I.P. Not WWE. Yeah. yeah. R.I.P. Uh, Scott Hall. You know? You know? Mm-hmm. 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 Anyway, yeah, <laughs> my favorite wrestler. We're gonna watch this uh, Marvel Studios Miss Marvel, guys. I uh, I've not watched this. First off, I don't think any of us have. So good on us for staying uh, tried and true. Uh, I have heard not great things about this. I don't know. I didn't go into why or what people didn't like, and I also saw Mister Fantastic was trending yesterday, and I don't know why. I... I know nothing about Miss Marvel other than the Times Bronze has been like, I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> I know nothing about this character. Very my, excited to see what this is. My origin uh, or my understanding of the origin story of this character comes from Marvel's Avengers, the game. So I don't know how like. You didn't play it. He, it was okay. You didn't necessarily miss that much. You did miss the story, I guess, of, of Miss Marvel. Um, so or we're going to dive not. in here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I did play that game. I had to think about it. I was like, Yeah. It wasn't bad. I don't No, it wasn't bad. It, it wasn't the story the wasn't bad. bad. Everything else sucked. <laughs> but yeah. The story. Entertaining. Anyways, are you guys ready to go? Should I count us in? Hell yeah. <clears throat> it's a minute forty seven long. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. Start. Here we go. I gotta make sure the audio levels are good. Five, four, a three, two, one. I see where we're going. That intro is pretty fun. I get it. Okay, so first off, I just want to say, I get it. Oh, bronze, we're getting feedback from you. I muted you so you can figure it out. Excuse me. You're kind of on my show. Sorry. But you're staring out the window. No go. What's with the weird, like... Do I have to figure out my whole future before lunch, or is there, like... Maybe they're right. I spend too much time in fantasy land. That is not you. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who save the world. That's the fantasy, too. Oh, she's on some cosmic shit. She's got different powers than what I know her to have. What the hell? I always thought I wanted this kind of life. But I never imagined any of this. Do you know what you are? I'm a superhero. Hmm. Okay. Is that, I don't recall, and I guess I don't know anything about her powers at all, except for what I saw from the trailer for the Marvel Avengers game. Right. And she was like, I guess now the Mr. Fantastic stuff is clicking. Yes. Because people are... she's like rubber band, big hand, that kind of stuff. Well, she, she didn't seem to have, also Bronzer unmuted. Uh, she didn't seem to okay. have that power i i felt like it, it was is? like some no. sort of energy her thing she was her hand becomes big at one like, point she looks bit. like green lantern now yeah there's sirens at my house oh, it looks it. like she has uh the green lantern power set there is an a marvel hero who has that but i can't remember who um let's see who is green lantern in yeah. marvel in marvel uh It doesn't actually have an answer. It just gives you. It's like Dr. Spectrum. I guess is who it is. 
but that's in Heroes Reborn. Yeah, so I don't know who that is. I don't I necessarily think that's I'm a big sure, character. I'm not sure what our consensus was watching this, but I I actually kind of liked the first half that was Scott Pilgrim y. Yes. Uh, I was unexpected. So I that, thought that was yeah. kind of fun. That's kind of character tie in with the character with, with what I know of the character is that she is just a massive fanboy of superheroes or fangirl mm, yeah, superheroes. She, uh, the very first shot is of her uh, notepad on the desk, and she has a thing that says Ant Man versus Man Ant, and it's uh, yeah. very cute. There's a yeah. lot of stuff going on in that. And then as they were doing the whole, like, oh, that's the bad girl. She gets devil horns. I love, I actually thought that was very fun. And then I guess the rest of the trailer just moved on from that very quickly. And I don't know what that means for the show. I don't know if that's like a through line yeah. or if it's when she's just in her head. Mm. I'm not sure what that means, but I actually like that part. The rest of it, I was too busy trying to figure out what the hell her powers were. Yeah, her powers I didn't know are weird. What I was watching. Her powers are weird. <clears throat> so it's interesting. So, like, in the comic books, that is, that is also true. Like, she's. I think the first time we see her, she's in her room working on her fanfic. Yes. Um, yeah. And she's okay. like super active in in the fandom, which is like what first drew me to her because it kind of is like you're reading, you the reader have like kind of a self insert character if you are, because if you're reading the comic, most likely you are a fanboy yourself, right? Right. Um, and it actually makes sense in that context why she calls herself Miss Marvel. I feel okay kind of spoiling this because it's very clear they're not going with this storyline. Um, but when she first gets exposed to Terrigen gas and her body starts to flip out because she's an inhuman, yep. while she's hallucinating to kind of like reorient herself, she imagines that she's Miss Marvel, like Carol Danvers, Miss Marvel, and she changes her hair to blonde and is wearing the skimpy old Miss Marvel costume, not even the Captain Marvel one, because that's like her comfort character. And then when she kind of comes out of the high and because she can polymorph her clothes too, I think technically it's, it's, she can kind of manipulate her body matter. And when she comes to, she's like, holy shit, I'm Miss Marvel. <laughs> like she has this like, and that's why she goes by Miss Marvel. Um, mm -hmm. That's, that's the kind of angel that comes to her when she's like walking down the street, flipping out because her limbs are like getting long and she's like kind of riding this terrigen high. Yeah. Um, so that, that part of it I actually thought was like super cute. Um, and it made sense why she takes that moniker for herself in this one. I, they show her dressed up as Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel so it makes a lot less sense why she goes for Miss Marvel because Miss Marvel didn't technically exist in this universe unless it's just that she's doesn't think she can go by Cap. I don't know. I don't, yeah, know. I don't know. I, think I it... don't know where she's going to get the name from. That That's going to be the part of me wonders if because there is a tie in to the movie, the Marvels or, or whatever they're calling that something Marvels uh, in the future, in the next couple of years. Um, mm -hmm. I wonder if like, Carol had come shows up or something like names her. I there's a shot where it was a bunch of shadowy figures, and I feel like it's going to be um, uh, what's her face from WandaVision. My brain just died. Uh, oh, um, uh, I know, goddamn blanking now. The other, the Ozone? other is Marvel, her, uh, what is her, what is her Marvel name? I'm blanking. Oh, Monica Rambo, yes, Monica Rambo, yes, 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 mm. yes, thank you. Yeah, could be. Boy. It very well. Photon. Could be. Who the hell is that? Anyway, yeah, no, but there was a <laughs> shot of them. Photon. I just made up the name Photon, which is one of my favorite. Photon. He gives you number. Oh. <laughs> uh, but there's like, there's a shot where it's it's uh, they're masked in fog, and I think that's probably going to be the uh, people that are in whatever sword is now, right? Whatever that is, or whatever. Sword, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they set up, I would imagine, something, right? Probably, yeah. That'll be the gateway into the next stuff. And I, yeah, you pro Bronze, you're probably right. There's definitely, I don't know, I don't know which one of you said that. Or it was JP. One of you, you know what, you're both correct. There, we're definitely going to get a Carol Danvers mm -hmm. appearing in this show. At some 100%. point, yeah. Or yeah. happy. I think, like, it's incomplete without it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I, I think, uh, Bronze, you, you brought up a, a huge point. Uh, the fact that in the comics, she's an inhuman. As mm. far as at this point in the MCU, inhumans do not exist. They have not uh, touched on them whatsoever. The, that is a completely uh, unrelated topic as, as far as the canonical representation of inhumans go. And so for them to just kind of looks like they're doing something with the band, some sort of like band that gives her her power. Uh, I, I don't know if that's like a family heirloom or if yeah. that's an alien artifact yeah, or from her mom. OK, that's her mom. Um, yeah. And they actually show, I believe, what is a clip of it. That was actually the part of the show I was most interested in. Is how I'm they're going to give lie, her powers. Kind of lukewarm for me. But they they show a scene that to me very clearly looks like Punjab. Uh, and it's the one with the wheat fields where they show the torches near the end. Okay. I'll pull that up. doesn't look like current day. That looks like my theory is that's going to be partition era Punjab. Let me see if I can find the shot. It's the now scene that looks kind of like the end of Field of Dreams, except it's people with torches instead of cars. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 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 You're talking about this right here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this here, I have strong theories on this. So <laughs> Kamala Khan and I share a bit of an origin story. <laughs> so at the time you, of you, the you're gonna all like you Yeah, basically. Um Amazing. so basically to give the to give our audience some context as this is the one of the few times where my area of expertise comes in. Uh, when the British left India as one final fuck you, they drew a line through my state, Punjab, and said everything that is like on the other side of this is now the Islamic State of Pakistan, and everything over here is now India. But it all used to be one country. And this created one of the bloodiest migrations in human history. Because there were Muslims living, we used to live in harmony before that. There were Muslims living in Punjab that were suddenly told, you have to make the trek 20 miles north into another country. Your house isn't your house anymore. You don't get to live here. So that's actually where my mom, my mom's family came from. Um, my mom's family came from Pakistan and had to basically flee to India at the time of the partition or they were going to be killed for not being Muslim. And the same thing happened to Muslim people who were in India. They had to leave their homes, kind of like what we're seeing here. It's like people carrying a bunch of stuff. They had to flee across the border. And as it is, when you have mass migrations and refugees, there were people that took advantage of the situation. There was a lot of inter-religion hatred at that time, a lot of bitterness and anger. And people were run out of their own homes by their own neighbors. Um, so thousands of people died. There are still people alive who remember the partition and they talked about seeing trains full of, of dead bodies, like being ferried back and forth between the countries because it was just the most horrible situation you can imagine. It would be like if we just drew a line through Texas and said, this is now the Christian state of America and this is the rest of America. Right. right. It, it would be horrible, right? Like yeah. a lot of people would get hurt and a lot of people would die. So I think, I think. Kamala Khan has the same origin story as me. My theory is either, I think maybe inverse. I think her family is Muslim fleeing India Punjab. Mm. Whereas my mom's family, my, my, my ancestors were Sikh fleeing uh, Pakistan Punjab because there's now Punjab in both countries, which sucks. We'll see. Shouldn't I mean, like if, if, if Disney slash Marvel decides to somehow uh, approach that, I will be very interested I, to I see how they are. do that. Yeah. I like... think you are. Because I don't know what else this thing could be. Like, if you look closely in the bottom right, there are people holding, like, their belongings. Yeah, they're definitely. The uh, yeah, this they're moving. Like, Punjab. Like, this is, you know, it's a majority farming country. Um. So, the, like, ha I lived there for 12 years. This looks a lot like Punjab. So I'm like, are they going to show the partition? Because I don't know what else this could be. Could be. Yeah, I, I, it might be like a somewhat of a, like a flashback. This is what her mom potentially <laughs> endured. Because I've heard rumors that the bangle 
is like a family heirloom that they rescued or that like they stayed with like them or something for life because that's what it is in the comic in the comic the bangle isn't magical but she wears it and there's a special kind of one shot where they go over how kamala's grandmother basically risked her life getting those bangles like safely out of the country because people had to leave all their belongings behind right i don't know why that thing makes her capable of shooting lightning <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah. the scene there's in the trailer uh, you're, i mean you answered a question i love being on this show with you too you answered a question that i had in that trailer because the when she's she opens a box and it looks like it's an attic and i was like she gets her powers from a box in the attic no and it's so just bangle, you ex- yeah, right here yeah. yeah you explaining that makes perfect sense to me now my question is the many scenes in this trailer that involve i assume is her mother uh and her being like that's not you you aren't this thing i wonder if we're gonna get that like tropey story of like the mom saw what happened to her mother yeah she, she doesn't, doesn't want, want her, her daughter, daughter caught yeah. up in the, you know like that kind of thing mm-hmm. I don't could know. be i don't know here here's a, a big brain thought i just had what if this bangle and the uh shan chi the rings are somehow related they're the same tech they're the same thing they're from the same related. huh do you think it's look at the center core of that bangle that's not indian in make yeah, yeah no mean, that's it, definitely it, it's, it's older it, it looks, looks could be alien but yeah. like yeah do you think that all this like all the like bangles and all the different things and all the things we're getting do you think the reason why we started with Shang-Chi. arguably one of the weakest movies in eternals oh yeah we the reason why we have all this background lore information about that stuff is because in the end those rings this bangle all these different things are going to connect back to that story arc. And that's going to lead us somewhere. Celestial tech or something. Yeah. yeah, Like all of it comes from one place and we're going to eventually get there. And for some reason, blade and <laughs> friends are going to end up there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I, don't I, don't know. Know, I don't know the blade. Uh, you got to go save his uh, girlfriend. Yeah, Dane I don't Whitman know angle. I, I haven't figured that out. They're vampires and something. All right. Yeah. They're, they're a part of it. Uh, yeah. I, it, I mean, it, this could be related though to, a lot of shit so yeah, yeah. who's to say fastos didn't make some of this stuff that right. is true that is a good point um i feel bad if that is the case because like eternals didn't make that big of a showing uh and if that really is going to be part of like a a linchpin <laughs> of the the phase four like uh okay all right look we all know <laughs> that Avengers 2, the weakest of the Avengers movies, was the most important story for the Avengers. You're not wrong. So, like... You're not wrong. Yeah. yeah. I'm just... Jesse, have we healed? What do you mean? You mentioned Eternals, and you didn't talk about a man in the ocean. Oh, Did I was you thinking find about it. I, we, we all telepathically yeah. thought about it. I was we thinking about like, it. Yes, did, the man in the ocean nod. Oh, we understand. No. Yeah, oh. I, I'm. I I moved on from that. I recognize it exists, and it doesn't affect me <laughs> as much as it used to. Yeah. <laughs> It'll get referenced eventually. Uh, I I guess the reason why Mr. Fantastic was trending now that I've kind of watched this trailer, they couldn't do Mr. Fantastic's powers, which is kind of what she has in the comics. Granted, it's not the same whatsoever. It's actually a lot different and and arguably more powerful than what. Uh, Mr. Fantastic can do, but from like a layman's perspective, stretchy hands in this and stretchy hands for Mr. Fantastic, it would be redundant, right? And so I, I guess that's why they couldn't show it. They couldn't go that route. But that also means we might very well, very clearly be getting Fantastic Four. That is very true. If they, I mean, so, they, they're saving that power set, right? Yeah. So yeah. it, uh, it, it it's interesting, I guess. Um, I think when we first heard about this being announced on, on this show, Jesse, you basically uh, pinned the idea that this is going to be like an ABC family show. I got big ABC family vibes while watching this. I, I, I For some reason, I got a lot of Scott Pilgrim vibes, which I'm all right with. Yeah, the, the um, beginning for sure had that. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I... I 
Yeah, I guess ABC Family is the right way. I was going to say WB, but this doesn't feel WB at all. Uh, it definitely has like a, uh, there's going to be a moral to this one. You know what I mean? Like, it's like this one. <laughs> At this the end, one, the NBC stars are going to like fly over yeah, and we're going to know a little know. bit more. Yeah. 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 Different show, but still same effect. Or different network, mm-hmm. rather. Still same effect. Um, I, I, of all the other shows yeah. that we know about, this is the one that, uh, that maybe I'm least hyped for, which could mean I, that I'm. I'm the same. That, that, which is like. Really funny because this is like I have a life size cutout of Kamala Khan in my house, but I kind of I'm I'm just like jealous of the Miles Morales fans because they got a movie that didn't talk down to them. Like mm. I understand that some of these superheroes are for children. Like I I get it, and like Miles and Kamala are the epitome of that. They're supposed to be for like tweens, kind right. of like how we had superheroes when we were tweens but with miles i feel like they managed to nail it they managed to make a show that was entertaining or a movie that was entertaining and relevant to g- grown-ass adults as well as tweens it was cool and off of, it was a cool character yeah 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 and just based off of this trailer i and this i hope the internet doesn't rip me to shreds when i say this i'm from the same culture as kamal and i was like it's too bad they didn't make this for me Right. And for me to say that is like, but that's legitimately how I feel. I'm like, oh, this isn't for me. Yeah. Like, okay, well, at least the trailer is not for me. Not for you. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Like we'll the, the, the vibe, the, film, the, the dialogue, like it just doesn't, it doesn't feel like they wanted to hit audiences of all ages. It feels like they wanted to hit the euphoria crowd. Like, well, actually, no, euphoria is really mature. The tween crowd, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I know what you're saying. Um, the trailer was definitely cut that way in my mind for is like, okay, so I'm used to seeing, (laughs) how do I say this? I think that shows like euphoria have warped my perception of what teenagers look like, because that is teenagers that are actually 25 to 30 years old. Right. right, So to me, Kamala's actress looks like she's 12. And the guy she has a crush on looks like a whole man. And it makes me very (laughs) uncomfortable. Yeah. But I don't know if that's because I, Jasmine, don't know what an 18-year-old looks like. Like, (laughs) But, but like, the dude that she's crushing on when she's standing on his shirt, to me, reads older than her. Because to me, she looks like she's very young. Um, But I'm also completely acknowledging I am used to seeing high schoolers played by grown adults. So I think maybe I don't know what a young girl looks like anymore. Because that scene made me uncomfortable where he's like standing there shirtless all ripped. And he's like, you're standing on my shirt. And she's like, oh, I'm a baby. And I just want to be like, cover your eyes. Like, Auntie Bronze. And, and be like, oh, stop it. You're standing way too close. It's not appropriate. Stop yeah. it. What's How interesting is that her friend who's in that scene with her as well also looks older. Like yes! not in like a like old lady way, but she looks she looks like twenty five. You're right. Yes! They cast an age appropriate actor for the main she characters. Does, like, oh, yeah. she's the age, and then everyone else around her looks like they're much older, and it does give a weird vibe. It weirds me out. Yeah, and I said that when she was cast. I said, "Are they going to wait a few years because she looks like she's 12. I I looked online. The actress is nineteen. So maybe she just has a baby face, but I really think they should have cast someone like Tom Holland's age for this. Yeah. I see you what know? you're saying. I I, mean, yeah. I, I don't, uh, I, I don't disagree with you. <laughs> Cause that's what we're used to seeing teenagers look like. Like Zendaya regularly plays a high schooler and she's in her twenties. Like, yeah, I really do think they should have cast someone that was like, 23 to 27. And I know that's going the opposite sounds- direction and cast the rest of the cast with actual teenagers rather than like actors that could play teens, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Because the re- end result is that she looks like she's not in the same grade as these people. Yeah. I mean, that looks like yeah. a grown man. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not tripping, right? No, that definitely looks like a, a 20 okay. year old. Because that shit made me fucking uncomfortable. I was like, he looks like, this looks like a but grooming also, situation. But also, devil's advocate, uh, young women, just like young men, have like fantasies about older people. Like that, okay, and, and I'm only, you know, I'm not saying that because I hope 
that there's still like a 20 something out there who's like that jesse cox is <laughs> fabulous all oh, i'm God. saying is hold up what the fuck is that name Cameron? Cameron? Was uh, explain like Cameron? to me. Cameron? Cameron? Oh, okay. I don't think that's a real name. Maybe my order is rusty. Is Cameron a real name? I don't think that's a real name. I'm gonna Google. Let's see what comes Kamala up. and Cameron? Are they <laughs> it is KK. <laughs> they couldn't name him like it's uh we'll hit Kamala and Cameron. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying Colin to see Cameron? like how pop. I don't think it's that popular of a name. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing though. According to forebears.io, it is the 790,000th most common surname in the world. <laughs> so not very Look, common. Like when Indian people name their kids Josh Preet because they want them to fit in in America. And everyone else calls them Josh, but it's always like Josh Preet. Oh, it actually, oh. funny enough, uh, I'm looking at a surname distribution map. Um, in India, it says the incidence is 30. I don't know what this number actually means, but in India, it's 30. And in Pakistan, it's 48. So maybe, I don't know. In the maybe U.S., it's eight. Than- Canada, it's one. Uh, Sweden, it's two. Uh, I'm sure it's a real name. Yeah. I did just C- Cameron right. and Kamala. That's, no, that's <laughs> speaking. Speaking of names, Bronze. This is gonna. Uh, I this definitely feels like it skews younger, specifically because of the names. And I just going through the character names that are on screen. The like redhead devil girl. Her name's Zoe Zimmer. The friend. That sounds of, like a, of her. a CW name. That's what I'm saying, yeah. And the friend, the the like one guy friend she has that keeps showing up, his name is Bruno Corelli. <laughs> oh, that's from the comic. Yeah, Bruno's from the comic, yeah. That's, oh, that's, a, that's like, a character? Okay. All these names, it's the most Jersey name I've ever heard in my life. So, like, I it definitely feels like it skews younger because the names seem very, like, goofy. I really but... just like the casting for Bruno as well. Wait, which honest. one's Bruno? Tell me. The like the the guy who's just with her. Oh, that's Zoe um, Zimmer there. Okay. Yes, yeah. The 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 guy who's Oh my god, I didn't scene... have subtitles on, so I didn't see what these people looked like. Oh, this is yeah, right there. Like that's probably the worst photo you could put on. It. I love uh, it. <laughs> Fuck this guy. No, where's the Okay. Is that him? I thought it was the other person standing next to her. There's oh, that's um, Bruno. some shots. Okay. Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry. Why like, is it horrible? Like, give, give us an example okay, of why it's horrible because I don't know this character. Yeah, let's okay. get some comic reference here. In the comics, Bruno works at Circle Q, which is the convenience store they always go to. That's where and they're at, skater- actually. Yeah, yeah, and he has skater boy vibes, which I think you'd appreciate, Jesse. He has like long hair down to his shoulders. Like, he's very like 90s chill skater boy that's her best friend, like secretly in love with her. So he has these right. like shaggy, scruffy, adorable vibes where. You, the reader, the are like... to you. Oh, yes. No, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy looks so like straight out of a Abercrombie. Uh, a fucking yeah, he does not match the kid working at a convenience store that rides a skateboard. I don't know. Like, he just has... In the comics, he has, like, just this very different vibe. And it's really cute. Wait. And you kind of want to hook up. That's... Sorry. I'm, I'm completely distracted. That's Captain Marvel. That's Valkyrie. Who the fuck is this? Uh, that's a wasp. That's it, oh. it says. Uh, it says, ladies, mm. let's get information or maybe informative. I'm not sure which, but yeah, I've been looking at that too, trying to figure out what her shirt said. But it definitely is that sort of like. If anyone was a fan of the the like all women team up at the end of uh, End Game, she was the fan. That's she was yeah. like, I love that moment. Part of me wonders he- hearing Braun speak about the the trailer, uh, the way she has, uh, and, and just knowing what I know about the internet, I wonder if the show will be able to find an audience. Like, I, I really I wonder if it, if people are going to bounce off of it really quick, or or if it's going to be. Iron Fist got a second season, bro. It will. It'll have an audience <laughs> no matter what, and it's on. <laughs> like, it'll. Marvel fans will tune in. 
no matter what for the first episode. Sure. And it's on this show to keep them. And so I don't – if the first episode is endearing enough, then, yeah, it'll find an audience. I have no doubt of that. I think the – it seems weird and quirky and like who knows what the hell the show's going to be. And it has like a teen drama vibe, but it also is a superhero thing, but it also has like the weirdness of a show that is like self reverent. Uh, like, it, I don't know. It's it, it, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. But I know people will watch it. I, I have no doubt about there's, that. There's like, there's like little things. See, this is where I feel like I'm um, being a grognard or I'm being like, too You're specific such a grognard. what a grognard move to, like annoy me where like she's been i feel like kind of rebranded into this like girl power person whereas like that's not the case like you played the video game jp that is very close to the comic rendition where she's like favorite avenger and she's like oh, oh she's man, just a fucking be- nerd yeah. yeah yeah like it's it's like or not robert Downey Jr. iron man like she loves all the superheroes whereas in this one she only likes captain marvel like i you know what i mean like maybe yeah. she loves world of warcraft she actually makes jokes about world of warcraft in the comic and i think she makes them in the video game too whereas like i feel like in this like every they always show her like gazing at the captain marvel costume she and definitely talking fixates about on it marvel, yeah. marvel and captain marvel and all to me it's weird because in this she's in the mcu spider-man is operating like a block from her yeah you know just next door in new york city and it's just weird to me that like there's no reference to that like in any of her stuff you would think she would be like and i get that everyone's forgotten that peter parker is spider-man but they haven't forgotten spider-man he still exists yeah have like a spider-man sticker on her notebook or something like i was very shocked to not see any reference whereas like in the comics she that's actually what pulled me into the comic is like there was i didn't start with the first one but i started soon enough that i was able to get the first one like the first printing of it which now i apparently is worth a lot of money the cover that got me is her taking a selfie with wolverine it's just like it's yeah the cover is like the a photo of her screen and it's like wolverine like this and her like smiling and i picked that one up and i fell in love and it's just like wolverine's like healing factor isn't working and because of that his adamantium bones are too heavy and she has to like give him a piggyback ride while i'm big through the sewers and she's just like big fan i love you god you are so heavy and the entire comic is her freaking out that she's meeting wolverine while also like carrying him and helping him out yeah there's the, and, the selfie yeah best cover i'd ever seen till that point i was just like oh my god i have to read this comic i don't know who she is but this looks amazing yeah you know so, hearing you th- yeah. two things one um i feel like this will be what spider-man was to iron man uh in the sense of you go back and watch those those movies and like he's a total fucking simp for iron man right like oh mr stark this is all oh mr stark blah 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 mr stark this blah 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 um i think that'll be what she is to captain marvel and two i can totally see some fucking schmuck during an interview for this thing being like you know when when captain marvel came out it really just captured the hearts and minds of so many young girls across the country and across the world really uh. Now we're seeing what happens when uh, one of these young girls gets to live out her dream and be also a superhero alongside. <laughs> I can already see that's the type of marketing that they're going to go for. A hundred percent. That's the marketing they're going to go for once this airs a couple I episodes. I would have heard if her idol was uh, uh, Sam, the new Captain America. He like, could how do you up. say it? Yeah. Oh, uh, brown girls from Jersey never get to be the hero and then idolize that horrible white woman. Like, <laughs> like I, I'm not the biggest Carol Danvers fan, fam. Like, uh, speaking as a brown girl, yeah, I think I would sooner idolize like like the Valkyrie thing makes sense. I'm like, work, yes, same, you know. <laughs> but like, and I'm not saying you can't idolize a white woman. I'm just saying I don't know if Captain Marvel is the one I'd idolize. Like, uh, yeah. I can already see the Twitter folk 
uh, out, out in arms, uh, if that is the case, uh, for this, which is, that's why I said it's going to be interesting if they go that route. Our behalf, you know, being like, oh, well, you know, think about what it means. You know, Carol Danvers meant a lot to, no, she didn't. Kamala Khan means a lot to brown girls. I don't, (laughs) but like, it's, it's, it's weird to me. Like, it's, I I don't know how to do it. Like, point of order. Okay. Point of order, Jesse. All right. Carol Danvers Uh was a uh, badass pilot in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Vanishes. Returns to help with a few things in Avengers. Mm -hmm. Then leaves. And then leaves. And then... We have not seen her do anything since. So why would you idolize her? More importantly, why are there like rhinestone statues of her? Every- I guess we <laughs> have a lot of questions about like why. That's a good point, point actually. She hasn't done rhinestone. anything. Well, I mean, she's on a shirt. Whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, like, here, the here's crystal, a- the crystal. The Swarovski crystal of the hell version of her. What I'm saying is like. Jesse brings up a good point. Who the fuck's marketing these people? She's... Like, what? Yeah, where, where like, is this apparel yeah, coming from? The money? Who's profiting off this this uh, this apparel? But like, even then, she is the Her Avenger who who was called like, Black Widow would make more sense. Yeah, because Black Widow more has more now. of a FaceTime. She's been in camera. She's done stuff. Uh, like a lot of the characters, she testified in front the, of the, the Senate or whatever. And yeah, yeah a lot Civil of the characters, War, so. especially female characters in in Marvel, are not like front and center. Like in front of cameras doing stuff. Like, uh, you know, uh, uh, Wanda is hiding away all the time. And, you know, uh, like most of these characters barely see the spotlight. And Carol Danvers has seen the least spotlight. Most of the time, in, in fact, throughout I would, all of Endgame, she yeah. was off planet. She showed up at the end to blow some shit up, and that was it. And unless, like, that wasn't filmed by anyone. No, no one you're right. That. Like, where so, would she get the spotlight? In Has terms of like press, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why is this the character? She's like, oh my god, I love her. What has she done that would capture the imagination of this young woman? Where, I just don't know. That's where I'm like shocked. She's not, it's not Spider Man because like living in Jersey shitty, <laughs> Jersey shitty. <laughs> uh, in- Twitter.com/slash that bronze girl for any <laughs> Jersey City residents. You're gonna get a lot of people from Jersey who are like, she ain't wrong. <laughs> Me and my fucking list. Living in Jersey City, she would see. Good at it. She would potentially see him from time to time if she went up into New York. You know what I mean? Like she would definitely know he exists. Yeah, like that's somebody that she's literally seen the direct impact of what he does. Or even Hawkeye after the events of Christmas. You know, these are people that she's seeing. Like Carol Danvers never came down and and help Jersey city when a, a tram went off the tracks or whatever. Like that's not the superhero for that. That's the superhero that goes and punches Thanos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's why we love Spider-Man. He's our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So like, it makes sense. Some of these things make more sense. Like even the way that, that Tom Holland's Spider-Man, that Peter Parker, like is obsessed with Iron Man. Once again, makes sense because he's directly seeing the effects of what Iron Man is doing. They talk about Iron Man having like scholarships and internships in his school, like in the comic books, that's very much a thing too. Like Stark tech is everywhere. It would be like if Elon Musk like was n- not a fucking weirdo and also <laughs> had superpowers, right? Like <laughs> right. you're seeing Stark tech everywhere. You're seeing Stark industries everywhere. You're like, you're seeing him on TV all the time. Idolizing him makes a little more sense than idolizing somebody from outer space that that is handling things on such a large level you probably don't even know they exist. That's what like yeah. there should yeah. if the show was gonna do a thing where she wants to like she doesn't like it on Earth. Like that like she sees the stars and, she, and like Carol Danvers goes to stars. Captain Marvel is like like that might be a little better, but honest to God, at one at 30 seconds in there's a scene where she's like envisioning herself as Captain Marvel and she jumps out of a window and grabs a tree and does a flip. 
Never in the history of anything has Captain Marvel jumped out of anything, grabbed onto anything, and done a flip. It's never Captain happened. Marvel Captain Marvel's flies. like, fly away. Like, yeah. it's just. Yeah. It's so the, again, the it's, idol worship doesn't make sense. And right. the way this Captain Marvel has been written and portrayed has always come off as kind of a level above. If that makes she's sense. She's galactic. Like, she's like, like she does yeah. not deal with Earth. She even yeah. says like, there's, there's other shit going on world. in the universe. Yeah. And so, like, even when she does show up, she's not palling around like the way the rest of them are. She's just like, mm-hmm. Peter Parker, you got something for me, you know? Like, and that's it. So, it's just, I don't know. It that it to, that to me doesn't make any sense. No, you, and, you guys are 100 percent correct. It's a little odd. It made more sense in the movies, or not in the movies, in the video game, yeah. where you get to see her freak out over everyone. She freaks out over Captain America. She freaks out over the Hulk. She freaks out over each and every single superhero, you know, like regardless of whether they're male or female. And so, like, to, I'm not saying she can't wear a girl power shirt, but it just feels weird to me as a woman to like, because I don't just like female characters. And it's it's whenever I see that type of shit in a movie, I start to feel like it's a it's like a dude saying, "Well, this is what girls want." Yeah, it's like Mark. Girls, this is a dude marketing to you type deal. Yeah, the girls yeah. they're about girl powers, so we're gonna make a note. Uh, Jot said to guy to do a girl's job, and then we put the the Black Widow on it. And then we put the new Hawkeye, and the women they're gonna go get this, and they're gonna love it, and we're just like. Um, maybe five of us like that. <laughs> and then cut the to someone doing the marketing. Put on, like better Moon Knight merch because the uh, your shit sucks. <laughs> then you cut to someone you know? doing the marketing. Look, it's really awesome when a young girl can look up at the screen and just see themselves there. Uh, it's it's uh, it's what we really strive to do here. At, uh, <laughs> it's the, we want everyone to be able to see themselves on screen eventually. That's our goal here at uh, Disney. Uh, a random factoid. Miss Marvel uh, episode five premieres on July the 6th, 2022. Thor Love and Thunder comes out July 8th, 2022. Then the final episode of Miss Marvel is on the 13th. So there is some overlap on there. Whether or not Thor is going to be somehow involved in the show, probably well, not going to well, happen. But I, I know we know from the casting of the Marvels that uh, Valkyrie is in that 100%. So Really? Okay. So maybe it's a Valkyrie reference yeah. then. Valkyrie is on her shirt too. It's true. Could have mm-hmm. like a run in somehow. I don't know how the fuck Valkyrie ends up in New York or like the U.S. in general from where she resides, but who knows? It's not like oh, she wow. has a home anymore. Yeah, <laughs> true. Destroyed. True. So there's so so the cast <laughs> list for the Marvels, <laughs> even though just, it's kind of a very dark topic because that actually happened and they actually showed it, and sometimes that blows my mind that they're just like. Here are all these Asgardian refugees, but continue, Jesse. Yeah. No, um, so even though I don't know the release date of 2023 is still the same, mm. the cast for the Marvels is straight up uh it's Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, Miss Marvel, and then uh it looks like Maria Rambo, isn't it? And Jude Law is back as whatever that guy's name was, the bad guy. Random bad guy. Sam, yeah, Sam Jackson uh, is back. Maria Hill, Colby Smulders is back. Uh, and Randall Park, Jimmy Woo is is back as well. And then it also lists uh, the entire Khan family, I guess, is involved. And then uh, Tessa Thompson is is back as Valkyrie as and well. And this is for the Marvels, the movie? This is for the Marvels. Okay. Yeah. All right. And yeah. the cat, apparently, is back. The weird cat with tentacles is back. Oh, the, the, f- for some reason, I wanted to say the flubber, but that's a, Robin Williams. the cat's name. That is, if that's the one reference, if we don't get, I'm going to be mad. What reference? Oh, you mean the, the cat comic, being named Goose? In the, in the comic, she has this giant bulldog. It's huge. And it has a little thing on his head and his name is Lockjaw and he can teleport. Oh, well, yeah. Lockjaw is like an inhuman dog, right? Yeah. He was in, yeah. uh, he was in the ABC show. Funny enough. The Inhumans, yeah. yeah. Even that's Camilla Khan's dog. Yeah, the Inhumans give it to her 
when she decides she doesn't want to live with them and she wants to live with her parents, they're like, here, we're going to give you him just so he can keep an eye on you and make sure like no one tries to go. Because, you know, the Inhumans always take care of their own. Gotcha. Okay. So they give her the teleporting dog to like help her out. And it's like really cool that she has it because it makes up for some like uh, weak spots in her power set. So random question then. In the comics, at least, are Cosmo and Lockjaw friends? Do they know each other? Do you have any idea? I don't know if they know each other. I I know at one point there was a comic like with all of the pets. <laughs> of course there was. That's that's uh, gonna be the next. That's like five years from now. The new Disney Plus show, the pets of the MCU. It's got Lockjaw. It's got Cosmo. It's got the dog from Hawkeyes, the Normie. He's going to be a bunk. It's going to be good. It's going to yeah. be huge. Yeah, it's literally called Marvel Pets. Oh, God. And it has, it. I know, it has Cosmo and it has Lockjaw. Apparently, it also has Swamp Thing. What is that in the background? I do not know. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a trailer. How do we feel about the weekend? You guys like yeah, the weekend? Yeah, there's Lockjaw and the Pet Avengers. That has Frog Thor. Oh, in the Pet Avengers? Okay. Mm -hmm. Could exist. Yeah, I've seen them do crossovers. Yeah. I don't know if they're friends, though. Jesse, how do you feel about The weekend? How do you feel about The weekend? Here's the thing. Uh, the weekend as a person, I have no opinion on. <laughs> However, that one, like, the man is very good at coming out with, like, singles. I don't uh -huh. know about the rest of his, like, I've never listened to albums. Album. Yeah. No. But... The man, every time he comes out with a single, it is, like, very popular very quickly. And admittedly, it's catchy. It's a catchy song. Yeah. Bronze, The weekend. did it play? You like it in the trailer? I love Abel. Yeah, I'm a big weekend fan. Okay. All right. I love his music. I don't think it fit in this trailer at all. It was kind of strange for me. I was, it was, I, I mean, was there, watching. And, I, yeah. like, if you play that riff in the beginning, I feel like you need to have some 80s, 90s type of nostalgia vibe going on, like some Breakfast Clubby vibes, because that's the vibes of the song. Um, I don't know. I think it fit more with the first half of the trailer than it did with the second half. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like the first half of the trailer, I was like, oh, okay, this is going really well. But in the second half, when like the lyrics came in, I was like, ah, oh, this isn't really working at all <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah. I think of, uh, of any of the shows and maybe Hawkeye, uh, was one of them as well. This might be the one that I'm like least interested in still obviously going to watch, uh, cause I'm a fucking MCU nerd. Uh, but going in there with like the lowest of low expectations, maybe I'll enjoy it more, uh, because I won't yeah. be like hyped for it. Um, that's, that's mm -hmm. my, my hope is kind of how I look at this. Um, and it's also like mm -hmm. three months away. Like we have so much stuff happening yeah. before this comes out. We've got an entire season of moon Knight. We've got a mm -hmm. Dr. Strange movie. There's a lot happening. I think that for me is like the biggest thing is like seeing the shit we saw for moon Knight and how hype I was for that. Seeing the Dr. Strange trailer, like. I have to remember to temper my expectations a little bit. Right. Um, I do still think it'll be an emotional watch and I'll be excited just because we haven't had a lot of this -y stuff in the MCU. And so, like, I'm sure it, for me, it'll be like the scenes of her dancing at the wedding and stuff like that. Like, that's going to be what gets to me because that's what got to me in Eternals. Like, seeing Bollywood superstar Kumail Nanjiani, like, that meant something to me. Like, because... We've never seen Indian people as cool characters. We usually see them as nerds that are like, how can I help you, Mr. Paul? Don't, right. don't. You know, we never yeah. see like someone that's like got finger guns and boom, 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 wearing a share of Ani that's like hot and cool and people like him and he has a private jet, you know? Like, I was like, what? Like, you know, like seeing that character was mm. powerful for me, you know? Like, sure. I was just like holy shit this is really cool and like you know same thing with like i was saying seeing dave patel play the green knight because it just doesn't you know last time a lot of people saw dave patel he was in slumdog millionaire that tells you yeah. everything you need to know we're not getting like the juiciest roles in hollywood we're usually like 
Hello, can I help you with your tech support? And even Aziz Ansari talked about how he got a call from the people making Transformers and he was like, oh shit, booking a Transformers movie. And they're like, yeah, we need you to like be the tech support guy and talk in an Indian accent. And he was like, I'm going to pass on that. <laughs> and he's like, I don't even understand why I need the Indian accent. Why can't I do this exact same role like with an American accent? So like I am like... And I'm sure that stuff in this show will get to me. We're finally getting some quality Indian representation. One of my good friends is in a recurring role on the show, Anjali Bhamani. I had lunch with her last week. She's a very, very close friend of mine. And she has a role in the show. And she was finally able to announce it on Twitter. And I was like, nice. ah, I can't see her on camera. Like, So that'll be really fucking cool. Um, So those parts, I'm sure, will be like warm and fuzzy. But I have like really low expectations for the rest of it because I don't know if I'm alone, but I feel like the CGI looks really shitty. Like her powers just look crappy to me. Yeah. I don't know if I it might be early. Picky. It just looks stupid. Like when she's walking on the air, it just looks dumb to me. Like it doesn't look like, Oh, I just am like, it'll really? look it. If we had Mr. Fantastic powers, I bet you it'd look worse. <laughs> right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> look I'm real. Sure it's going to look real weird when they are, try to make that happen. Yeah. I'm sure those powers are a nightmare. In fact, like when I was playing the video game, I said, I don't think we need a TV show or a movie. I think we just need more of this. Yeah. Because that's the only context in which I've seen that character do all the stuff she does in the comics and it looks good. That's like right. one of the few times where I was like, oh, this looks and even she was playing awesome her, in the game. Yeah. So much fun. And and like it looked cool. It looked like it belonged there. And it was really awesome. Yeah. But I don't so I don't think the Mr. Fantastic would have been much better. But even with this, I'm like, oh, I hate the way it looks. And even the CG effect when her eyes change color, it's so bad. <laughs> It looks uh, like it's a little Green Lantern, Ryan Reynolds. Yes! Yeah, it looks cheap. It looks very CW. So I was like, oh, it doesn't look clean. So the action doesn't look appealing. The high school stuff, I don't know. It could be great. It doesn't seem like it will be for me. So I, I'm sure I'll get something out of it because it does have like that cultural undertone and the the core material. Like if it's anything like. The G. Willow Wilson comics, it's still going to be a banger because those comics are so fucking good and the base material there is so fucking good. They have a great foundation to build on. Um, but yeah, I'm reserving my expectations. I think like going through the I'm going through the trailer, just like looking at it again and again and again. And one of the things that I notice is a lot of the action scenes we do see are her fantasies, which I'm fine with them being ridiculous looking because they're not real or you know real yeah. and then eventually i don't know we're a minute in already and we haven't seen an action scene and then there's only two of the entire trailer that involve her one is at like 116 115 where she does like a jump fist slam and then the other is like her punching a dude but most of the time it's cutaways and like we don't see her doing a lot of stuff so i don't know Maybe it'll look awesome. Like, I'm being positive on this one because I feel like we don't know enough yet. And uh, we will see. We will see. Like, this right here is just her, like, learning her powers. It looks so know. spacey, so cosmic. Like, it it really does. Uh, look. Her, if you pause on her fist when she does the, like, when she's at, I think it's at the wedding. Right here. When, like, towards the end. No, towards the end when she does the huge fist. And it's her oh. and she's... I think you just passed it. Yeah. Um, it's after she does her dance number with Bruno Scabarelli or whatever. Yeah. When you go to, but look to uh, the, how dumb that looks, right? Like, I'm not. Uh, go crazy. further back. Her bigger fist, it's like crystallized. Oh, yeah. It has like, it's like a crystal. It's thing. like crystal. Which, yeah. It's like cosmic crystal powers. I don't know. Yeah. Even there. Even there, you can see the punch. Who the hell is she the fighting? The whole hand is. Uh, the dude. So I was wrong. The people that show up in. The Fog, this is one of those dudes it looks like. So they're probably villains. I don't know what the hell they are. If this ends up being some sort of hand shit, I'm out. Funny cold drink. She's not in America. 
No one calls it cold drink here. You call it that in India. She's in Pakistan. All right, oh. there you go. Crack. Oh, the only MCU podcast where you're, nail- you're nailing it. Look at this. Host- yeah, cold drink. It, we they would never a ringer for this. So, what do you, you think? She goes home. You think she yes, goes home for a that's, wedding that's, that's, and like she's yeah. getting attacked because people know that she has this like ancient relic or something. Yeah. That is, yeah. If I actually, I'm not going to spoil that. I actually do believe I know who that character with the red mask is. Uh, is it the red mask? From... <laughs> is huh? his name the red I'm mask? Not, not, <laughs> that, that might actually be spoiler territory. So I'm not going to cover any of that. Okay. Um, Does he enjoy a sunny cold drink? Spoilers. But, oh, see, even that's a faux pas. Okay. So looking at her outfit. <laughs> you're not wearing her dupatta. And you always wear... It's like a sash. You always wear that with your. Maybe it got knocked off. She's been fighting. That's your honor, Jesse. Well, you know what? Gotta have your honor. Oh, we're gonna get a dance scene. Yeah, with I said Sonny Scavarucci or whatever his name is. Classic that I hate it. Why are they all dancing in unison? Do they think that we sit and choreograph every wedding? It's maybe this is one of her fantasies. Maybe let me put on my marketing cap real quick. We really want to enter into the Indian market. We love what they do in Bollywood. There are, in fact, and over a billion people in India. There's so many potential. You're going to need to do better than this to get into <laughs> They the will. Indian God market. damn, Doom was a you fucking banger. Go watch Doom. Look at Russian's abs. That man has an 18 pack. You've seen what India wants. That's this true. show is not delivering it, honey. Jesse, if you watch Doom. Kujaruchi isn't. Uh, have very first off, First off, yes. Okay, good. I'm no fool. I watched it on a plane flying. Oh, that's over right. We found this conversation. Was... Uh, also, to yeah. follow up on that conversation, you I watched that what movie. What our numbers look like? Yeah, yeah. I watched the thing where they did the the barrels, Jesse, uh, and they launch into the castle. Uh, is a bunch of barreled uh, people with oh shields. My God, you're oh, the guy, the, 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 the like the the giant yeah. uh, sheet attack. Yes. That. Like all those, oh man! All I'm saying is Banger. Hollywood needs to step it up. They do. I don't want realism. I want men flinging other men a thousand miles with a sheet. Is what I want, and I will not settle for less. So the other question: Our dance numbers are better than this. Because who the fuck are these people? Right? Like, what is what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they want to do experiments on her. Well, there's there's a <laughs> shot of. Uh, people Could walking be. up the stairs, and they have that very, like, we are bad guys. We are walking up the stairs. There's a crest on the arm. Right there. Wait, what? There's a logo. Where? Is that a logo? Or is that on the shoulder. body armor? Right. Oh, think do you think question, Do you think these are, are uh, uh, sword agents, and they're like, this person's trouble. We've got to take her down. And it's like all a crazy misunderstanding. They're definitely in a high school going after her, so maybe. I don't know if sword though. I don't know who it could be though. Hydra doesn't exist unless Hydra does exist again. But um, why would Hydra give a damn about why would story? anyone you know on this I mean? like level of military aptitude? Well, give a uh, shit? again, if you go back to that scene, there's uh, like the blonde woman going up the stairs with her what, like what, we what, are uh, evil lawyers. Further back, you you pass it a little bit. It's they step out of the car. Back there, uh, you just missed it. It's it's like uh, right there, right there. Evil lady oh. going up the stairs, and then like corporate evil guys, probably government agents. And then this shot, that sh- those are clearly villains, one hundred percent. Wait Look a minute, the- hold on. Older silhouette on hold number on. one, though. Do you think these guys have some sense of inhuman bullshit? Is there any sense of them? bringing in and humans in this show because like why would they have four people revealed this way at first i was assuming this was probably going to be shot of monica rambeau and like jimmy woo and it was going to be like those shield people like we're here for you but it doesn't look like them it looks like that looks like robes that looks like some sorcerer supreme robes or something it, it kind of looks like they would be in the same group as mask men whoa who is that there was a shot of the dude in the hood oh yeah right, right there. <laughs> who the hell is that guy oh easy the woman in the red uh these are allies the woman right there that you have a mouse over go for to the end of the video it's it's that woman the one who's like you don't know what powers you have 
Oh, you're right. It's uh It is one hundred percent her. Sorry, I'm operating is... things in the in the way of the timeline there. Understood. Uh I know she where is... was that? Was it in the end? Um, it is maybe it's not the end. Maybe it's in fact at oh wow. Where is it? I don't, I don't, you know what? I'm just going to press play and hope it all pays there it off. Is. Found it. Oh, okay. I saw it for a yeah, split second. That's, that's, that is definitely her. She says, like, well, that's not it. Well, now it's hit the thing because I'm skipping around where it's just loading. Yeah, now I can't find it. You got a timestamp? Well, for me? I'll find you the timestamp. Don't you fret. Yeah. Don't you fret, my dude. This is also, I'm glad you mentioned that, Bronze, because that's in there for like a split second. Yeah, that's definitely like either, well, okay, well, now see, now it might not be partition because she's in Pakistan. We, I like th that is guaranteed based off of the sunny cold drink. So that means she's in Pakistan. So that might not be a partition flashback. That might just be Pakistan. Could be. We'll see. I bet that's also India. I bet where she's, or sorry, Pakistan, but where she's running through the field. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Huh. Right. Oh my God, that's such a quick shot. One twenty-six is her. God, that. No wonder you missed it. That is a fast shot. I don't know why this woman stood out to me the most. Maybe I got a thing for her. I don't know. But this is a oh, this is a yeah. very quick shot. But that's her. That's one hundred percent her. Ow. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks to be you right. They're definitely... That whole face. Yeah, you can. For a split second. But yeah, it just looks like generic guy. <laughs> so either they're going to be like, we're your ally and we're on your side and helping you, or they're going to be like the big bads that are like, don't you see? We're the Magnetos of this world. You know, like that kind of thing. Like... What? Number, you know, one, the bad guys. number one is wearing something weird. I kind of like, dig that outfit. Of... Number like, two looks good, like but... Billy from from the boys. Yeah, I was about to say that. He 100% does. Yeah. 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 Like, number one, like, that can't be a poncho. Like, that has to be like a, like a robe, right? Sure. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think... When does Multiverse of Madness come out? Um... Uh... Before May? this, yeah, before this by a month, I think. Could see some more sorcerers. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. 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 Anyways, we'll continue our thoughts if we have any extra ones. We've been going an hour. <laughs> we'll watch uh Legion. We got we're doubling up next Monday. Make sure to Legion catch up for that. Good. Yeah. I need I need to watch the next two episodes. I'm happy that we chose to watch it. Yeah. it's it's good it's good tv it and is. i think it proves that you can have something that sits on its own like not in a cinematic universe because cinematic universes are cool but i think legion is so cool because it doesn't owe shit to anybody else like they get to do thing. stuff in the show that they could never do in a current disney plus show because they don't owe anybody anything it's, it's like its own little it's universe. like jazz baby you know, yeah. just like a man sitting in an ice cube in the astral plane listening to jazz. <laughs> Jesse knows that reference now. He does. He does indeed. We'll talk about that. Uh, the what episode That's three awesome. through six next week? What we do in the shadows, right? Like, or yeah. what is it called? Who, yep. Like a band. Yep. Uh, Jermaine. Okay. That's who that is. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 I wanted to make sure because yep. I was like, we'll talk about that oh, on. Uh, on Monday, that's it. Thanks for watching this. We'll uh, we'll see what happens with Miss Marvel. Uh, where's our fucking Thor trailer? We need a Thor trailer. That needs to happen. We'll do a two-hour episode. Watch. Nick is not even going to release a movie. It's just going to be an NFT. And he's like, I told you it was the craziest thing I've ever made. Could be. This movie shouldn't exist, so it doesn't. Yeah. Here's this NFT. Like, I don't know. 10,000 like versions of Fat Thor. Get yours today. I Am I the only one who feels that way? Everything that has come out about that movie is so random and weird. I'm like, what does this mean? We'll see. 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that well, the trailer's got to be soon. So we'll just save it for that. We'll save it for that. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think. Tell us how we're wrong. Tell us how we're right. Direct all uh, tweets at that bronze girl and she'll disseminate them to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't tweet, tweet me, me Jesse. <laughs> Only tweet me if you love me. Thank you. If you agree. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we're out here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye bye.